Hey everyone, so glad that you're back with us this weekend for our Tales of Mercy series. Throughout the series, we're gonna be looking into the five components of mercy, which we introduced last week. And those are forgiveness, helping the hurting, kindness to our enemies, um, being patient with those difficult people, <laughs> and reaching the unreached, people that maybe don't know Jesus yet. So today we're going to be focusing on one main component, which is forgiveness. And so let's take a look at our story this week and see what forgiveness in action looks like. How Henry came to live under the bridge is a peculiar story. You see, it was no ordinary bridge, for it symbolized peace between two kingdoms. Before the bridge was built, the two kingdoms on either side were at war with one another, and each day sent fighting men to the water's edge to hurl insults and stones at their foes across the river. One day, years into the war, a peasant man named Lincoln dropped his weapons and limped to the front line. Lincoln called to the other side, I am tired of fighting. Let us build a bridge over the water so that each of us and our children can come and go freely. We shall no longer have war, but peace between our lands. We will each assemble part of the bridge and over the water, our two halves will join. They agreed and did just as Lincoln had suggested. All, that is, but Lincoln's son, Henry. Henry's anger burned against his enemies because they had wounded his father and caused him to limp. Since Henry would not participate in the construction of the bridge, he was banished from both lands. He went to live under the bridge and did live there until he had grown into a young man. Who are you? A friend. I came to talk to you. I don't have any friends. I don't need your help. Why do you live in this dreadful place? It's not so bad. I can't go home anyway. Why not? There's a war in my heart. The men who hurt my father, and with him for forgiving them. This bridge does not stop up the polluted water beneath it. One safe passage for those who wish to cross over it. Forgiveness is the same. It does not undo the wrongs that have occurred, but allows us to get over them and move on with life. And one more thing. What's that? In what direction are the people going above us? You can see for yourself. They go in every direction. Some this way, some the other. So it is forgiveness must go in both directions. You say you have forgiven, and you must receive the forgiveness extended to you. What's this? It is a letter from your father, the king. He is now ruler over both lands, and said that if you truly forgive those who have wronged you, you can pardon the wrongs you have done to others and your citizenship will be reinstated. 
and you will gain your rightful place in the royal family. You will no longer be forced to eat what others throw away. It will come and go freely in all lands. Henry opened the letter and began to read. He breathed in the dank air from the river and imagined the smells of a hot meal. He ran his hand over the cold earth where he often lay his head and thought of sleeping over a warmed hearth. And for the first time since he was a boy, Henry dreamed of life above the bridge. I loved how the, the bridge was a metaphor for forgiveness. Yeah. Right, and just as the boy said, forgiveness doesn't change our past. Instead, it gets us over bitter feelings and helps us move on. And I like how the boy like showed forgiveness like it being two ways, just like the travelers on the bridge. Like we have to give out forgiveness, but then we also have to receive the forgiveness that God gives us. Yeah, imagine how many fights, how much pain could be done away with if everyone just truly forgave each other. How about you guys? Have you guys experienced the need to forgive someone lately or received forgiveness? Your guys' challenge for this week is two-sided. One, maybe think about a person in your life that you like have to forgive or that you hold resentment towards and pray that God's Holy Spirit will actually help you forgive them. And two, ask yourself, do I really believe that God has forgiven me because of what Jesus did on the cross? So why don't you think about that over the next week, and we'll see you next week on Tales of Mercy. Hi guys, welcome back to Miracle of Mercy. Now remember, last week we said that mercy is love in action, and that mercy is when our heart is soft and we have compassion for other people, even people who don't deserve it, because Jesus shows us mercy even when we don't deserve it. So today we're gonna to learn how we can show mercy by being forgiven. And who better to teach us than Jesus? Watch this. The Miracle of Mercy, Peter. This is Peter. hey Whoop! Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus and he heard all of his teachings. When the time came for Jesus to die and take away the sins of all the world, Jesus had one final meal with his friends. During this meal, Jesus told his followers that the time had come for him to leave them. Huh? Peter asked, where are you going? Jesus told him Peter couldn't follow him now. What? But that he would follow him later. What are you But Peter said, why can't I come now? I'm ready to die for you. Jesus said, die for me. Peter, before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even knew me. Then Jesus and his disciples went to the Mount of Olives so Jesus could pray. Along the way, Jesus told his followers that they would all abandon him. Uh-oh. But Peter said, even if everyone else leaves you, I never will. Jesus said, Peter, this very night before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. But Peter wouldn't believe it and vowed that he would stay with Jesus until the very end. The other disciples vowed the same. Yeah, I hear. Later on that night, Jesus was arrested by men sent by the religious teachers and priests. Peter tried to fight for Jesus and he cut off the ear of one of the guards. Ow. But Jesus healed the guard and went quietly with the captors. All the disciples scattered just as Jesus told them they would. The men led Jesus away to the house of the high priest. Peter and another disciple followed them. Peter came to warm himself by their fire. Uh, hello. <laughs> A servant girl noticed him in the firelight 
Huh? Finally, she said, this man was one of Jesus' followers. Oh, ma? But Peter denied it for the first time. He said, I don't even know him. <sighs> After a while, someone else looked at him and said, you must be one of them. Oh. Peter for a second time said, no, I'm not. Uh, okay. <sighs> About an hour later, a man who knew the man whose ear Peter cut off said, didn't I see you in the olive grove with Jesus? This must be one of them. He comes from the same place as all of them. Yeah, you're right. But Peter said, no, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. And then Peter heard the crow of the rooster. <laughs> Jesus turned and looked at Peter. Jesus' words flashed through his mind, and Peter left the courtyard weeping. Then Jesus died and was placed in a tomb. The disciples heard that he had come back from the dead. Peter even saw the empty tomb and believed that Jesus was alive again. And Jesus appeared to the disciples to show him that he was alive. Some of Jesus' followers were together when Peter said, I am going fishing. Okay. So they all went out to the sea, but caught nothing all night. At dawn, they saw a man standing on the beach. Oh, hey, over here. The man called out to them and said, have you caught any fish? Nope. The man said, throw out your net on the right side and you'll get some. Uh, okay. So they did, and they couldn't bring in the net because there were so many fish in it. Then one of the men on the boat said to Peter, it's Jesus. When Peter heard that it was Jesus, he swam to the shore while the others pulled in the load to the boat. When they got there, they found breakfast waiting for them. Mm -hmm, I miss a fish. Got it. Jesus said, come have some breakfast. While they were eating, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, you know I love you. So Jesus said, then feed my lambs. Then Jesus asked again, do you love me? Peter said again, yes, you know I love you. And Jesus said, then take care of my sheep. And then a third time, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. So he said, you know everything. You know that I love you. So Jesus said one last time, then feed my sheep. And so Peter went on to feed Jesus' sheep by helping establish the church and by writing books that we can now read in the Bible. And though he denied Jesus, he was forgiven and many came to know the love and forgiveness of Jesus through Peter. Wow, guys, that was a big deal. You see, Jesus really needed his friends to stick by him and support him. And when Jesus needed Peter the most, Peter acted like he didn't even know him. But that hurt Jesus. Have you ever had something like that happen to you? where a friend or a family member, someone who was close to you, did something that was hurtful? Well, what are we supposed to do in those moments? Get even? Nope. We're supposed to do what Jesus did, and that is show mercy. And we can show mercy in that instance by being forgiving. Jesus showed Peter mercy by offering him forgiveness. Even though what Peter did was hurtful, Jesus still forgave him. That is love in action. That is mercy. You know, just like in our story with, with the bridge, it, it created a connection between the two lands. People would go back and forth, N not just one way. They would go back and forth. They'd go two ways. You see, forgiveness is that way too. It's a two-way street. Jesus has forgiven you, and now he expects you to forgive others. And Jesus offers a forgiveness to us that no one else can offer. You know. For example, see this black paper? This black paper is gonna represent sin. You know, sin is all the bad things that we do. It's all the bad and the, the disobedient things that happen in our life. This is sin. 
And maybe, I don't know, maybe you've lied to your parents. That's sin, that's wrong. Maybe you've been very mean to somebody at school and you've treated them unkindly. That's sin. Maybe you even took something that didn't belong to you. That's sin. But all this bad stuff that's in our life, sin, your parents can't erase that. I, as your pastor, can't erase that. The only person who can wipe this stuff out of your life is Jesus. And Jesus says, when you ask me for forgiveness, when you do something wrong and you sin, and you ask me to forgive you, the Bible says he forgives us. He clears it all away. Only Jesus could do that. And when Jesus takes all that bad stuff out of our life, he's showing us mercy. That's love in action. Then he says, as I have forgiven you, you forgive others. Just as I show mercy, you show mercy. Is there somebody in your life that you need to forgive? Is there someone you need to go to and ask for forgiveness? It's a two-way bridge, but one thing is for sure, guys. When you forgive other people, your heart becomes soft, and that is a display of mercy. That is love in action. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. Gather round, it is time for a test of your knowledge. Do you know the difference between a fact and a fairy tale? A story will appear and you are to tell which it is. Question number one. Beautiful girl falls in love with a beast because of his heart. Fact or a fairy tale? Fairy tale, beauty and the beast. Here's a fact. Squirrels forget where they hide half their nuts. Question number two. Servant girl goes to ball. Dance partner uses her footwear to find her again. Fact or a fairy tale? Fairy tale. Cinderella. Here's a fact. Limes are not baby lemons. Question number three. Servant betrays his loyalty to his king three times called out for it by a rooster. Fact or fairy tale? Fact. Peter denying Christ three times. Those are all the stories for this day. I thank you for your service. Remember to look around you every day for facts and use your imagination to come up with some fairy tales of your own. Until we meet again, good day.